here we get into fun stuff. We're talking about squaring binomials now. And what we're doing this, um, basically we should say, I should start this out by saying when we're squaring binomials, a binomial squared, so I better write this, binomial squared, we, we can shortcut this a little bit. It's equal, now equal to the first term squared. So we, let's see, I don't want to write this. First term squared. So we have the first term squared. <clears throat> and we're going to be looking at plus or minus uh, the product of both terms. So it's plus or minus product of both terms plus the square of the second term. So plus the square of the second term. What's it, what this means essentially if we put it into uh, variable form a plus b, if we're squaring that binomial, what this means is the first term is a, so we're going to have a squared, and then we're going to take plus or minus the product of both terms. Well, since this is positive, we're going to add those terms. So it's the product of both terms. So it's a and b, and we have the product of those. And I, I guess I left something out, plus or minus twice. I should have put that in there. I wonder why I was wrong. Twice the product of both terms. So a and b, a times b is ab, but we want to do twice that. So twice ab plus the square of the second term. The second term is b, so b squared. So pretty easy to figure that out. Now what if we have a minus b squared? Well, again, we'd have a squared, but this time we're looking at minus double the product of the uh, first and last term. And then again, plus b squared because a negative times a negative is positive. And and if we want to see how these these fact these work out, you know, we put a plus b times a plus b. This is a plus b squared. A times a a squared. A times b plus a b. B times a plus a b plus b squared. A b plus a b is two a b plus b squared. A squared. And if we do it with a minus b times a minus b, and again, a times a is a squared. Now we have minus a b minus a b plus b squared. So negative a b minus a b is a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. So although we can work these out, if we can remember um, these what we call special product here, um, it's, it's a little easier and quicker uh, for us to do these, these types of things. So let's do a couple practice here. Um, let's say we have x plus 2 squared. Now remember, this is we're adding here. So if we want to know what is this squared, then we're looking at the first term squared, which is x squared. We're looking at twice the sum of um, the, the two items here. Um, so we have x and 2. So if we took the product of those, 2 times x is 2x, and doubled that, that would be 4x. So we'd have x squared plus 4x. And then the last term is 2, so plus 4. Now if we work it out, we'll see how we get to that answer. But we have x times x is x squared plus 2x by multiplying this and this. And then we're going to have multiplying the outer ones plus 2x plus 4. So x squared plus 4x plus 4. So we can't shortcut here um, just by knowing the special products we're talking about. All right, let's look at um, let's look at one more example here. Uh, and let's have one where we get x squared minus 7y we're going to square it. okay so the square of the first term x squared squared if you think about it would be x to the fourth and then we have 
negative 7y, this is a negative, so again, we're going to be having a subtraction sign here. Negative 7y times x squared is negative 7x squared y. We want to double that, negative 14x squared y. And then negative 7y squared would be plus 49y squared. So hopefully, I'm hoping that, that this helps a little bit um, when we talk about squaring binomials, how we can use these shortcuts here to help with these situations. So um, we'll be looking the next at another special product, which is multiplying the sum and difference um, of two terms. So until that next one, until the next video, I will see you in there. Have a good one. Bye.